Hello to all the elves back at Reindeer Radio. I'm Rudy Reindeer, and I'm so glad you are here to help broadcast the good news of Christmas to all our listeners. Today, I'm at the shopping mall buying presents for Mrs. Rudy and my sweet son, Little Jingle. While I was shopping, I found two little shoppers at the candy counter. Please, do tell us, what are you doing with all of this candy? Well, we were going to buy it for our cousins, but it looks so yummy, we just had to have some. Did you see this sign? It says, do not eat. We did see the sign, but we wanted candy so bad, we decided to eat it anyways. Now kids, by eating the candy when the sign says, do not eat, you have disobeyed. Does it make God sad when we disobey? Yes, sir, Rudy Reindeer. God really wants us to obey. But God loves you even if you disobey. Elves, I need you to record this special message to all of our listeners. God loves me. You record it, and I'll play it for all our listeners after my story of the day. So long for now. God loves me! Hello? Oh, hi. Mrs. Rudy here. I was so excited to hear my dear Rudy's voice on the radio that I missed your special message. Did you say that God loves cheese or God loves me? God loves me! Ho, 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 this is DJ Prey Z, and I want to know who's excited for Christmas? Let's go. Take a step to the left and a step to the right. Jump up and down because it's chilly tonight. Put on your hat and mittens. Don't forget your snow pants. Grab your winter jacket and let's do the Christmas dance. Everybody do the Christmas dance. Let me see you dance. Shake your head to your toes, from your knees to your nose, from your head to your boots. Come on, what do you got to lose? Let's go!
everyone in the North Pole. You're tuning in just in time for Rudy Reindeer's story of the day. My favorite stories come from God's Word. Does everyone out there listening know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right. If you want to hear a Bible story, then click on your listening ears. Click, click! Now put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop! There's a story in the Bible that reminds me of the friends I met while I was out shopping. It's the story of Adam and Eve. Can everyone out there say Adam and Eve? Adam and Eve! Good job! Adam and Eve lived in God's special garden. The garden had many trees, but there was one tree that they were not supposed to eat from. God said, do not eat from this special tree. Now, there was a sneaky snake in the garden. Listeners, can you hiss like a snake? That's it. The snake hissed at Eve and said, Did God really tell you not to eat from this tree? The snake wanted Eve to disobey God. The fruit on the tree did look tasty, and Eve thought about what God had said, but she ate the fruit anyway. Then she gave some to Adam, and he took a bite too. Can everyone tell Adam and Eve what God said about this tree? Say, Do not eat. Do do all you listeners out there in Radio Land think God was happy or sad when Adam and Eve disobeyed? Sad! God was sad, and He didn't let Adam and Eve live in His special garden anymore. When Adam and Eve disobeyed, they messed up their friendship with God. Because God loved them, He wanted to be friends again. So God sent His own Son, Jesus, to take their punishment for disobeying. Jesus came at Christmas to take the punishment for when we disobey too. God sent Jesus because God loves you and me. Now, here's a special message for you from our Reindeer Radio Elves. God loves me! Well, good day, my elf friends. This is the Gingerbread Man. I was tuning in earlier and heard about the kids who ate the candy when the sign said, Do not eat! Was God sad or happy when they disobeyed? Hey, Frosty the Snowman here. I really enjoyed Rudy Reindeer's story of the day. Now, did he say that Adam and Eve disobeyed or played in the snow all day? It's not just about the manger where the baby laid. It's not all about the angels who sang for him that day. It's not just about the shepherds or the bright and shining star. Oh. It's not all about the wise men who traveled from afar. It's about the cross. It's about my sin. It's about how Jesus came to be born once so that we could be born again. It's about the stone that was rolled away. So that you and I could have real life someday. It's about the cross It's about the cross It's not just about the presence Underneath the 